We're asked to determine the equation of the linear function that passes through the points negative six comma eight and nine comma negative seven. We're asked to write the equation in slope intercept form and then graph the line using our graphing tool. But I think for this example, we're actually gonna find the equation graphically first by graphing the line on the graphing tool and then we'll come back and verify our equation algebraically by using our slope formula given the two points and then by performing substitution to find the y-intercept b. So let's go to our live grapher and graph the line passing through these two given points. So we first wanna select the line tool here below and now we'll click on the first point, negative six comma eight, which would be here. Notice now the line appears and now we wanna click on the second point, nine comma negative seven. So nine negative seven would be here. Now that we have the graph of our line, let's take this graph back to our presentation so we can show some work. So in order to find the equation of our blue line in sloped intercept form, we need to determine the slope of the line as well as the y-intercept of the line. Well notice how since we have the graph of the line now, we can determine that the y-intercept is this point here, which has coordinates zero comma two, and therefore b equals two. And now to find the slope graphically, we can select any two points on the line and determine the change of y divided by the change of x going from one point to the next point. So let's go ahead and use this vertical intercept here, and let's say this point here. The closer the two points are together, the less simplifying we'll have to do when it comes to finding the slope. So working our way from left to right, notice how if we want to move from the point on the left to the point on the right, it's a little small, but we'd have to go down one unit, so the change of y is negative one, and then we'd have to go right one unit, and therefore the change of x is positive one. Again, because we went down one unit, the change of y is equal to negative one, and because it went right one unit, the change of x is positive one, which means our slope is equal to negative one divided by one, or just negative one. So the equation of our line in slope intercept form passing through these two points would be y equals negative one x plus two, but negative one x times x is just negative x, so we'd normally just write y equals negative x plus two. So this is how we can find the equation graphically. Let's also show how we can find it algebraically. Again, we're given the points negative six, eight, and nine, negative seven. So if we wanted to find the slope algebraically, we would use our slope formula, y sub two minus y sub one, divided by x sub two minus x sub one. So let's call these the ones. This is x sub one, y sub one, x sub two, y sub two. Let's verify our slope is negative one. So we'd have the slope is equal to negative seven minus eight divided by nine minus negative six, which would be equal to negative 15 divided by positive 15, which is negative one. So our slope is correct, which means now if we wanted to, we could write the equation of our line in the form of y equals negative one x plus b, and now we could perform substitution using one of these points to determine the value of b. The other option would be to use point slope form of a line. Let's go ahead and perform substitution. So using this first point, we'd substitute eight for y and negative six for x. That'd give us the equation eight equals negative one times negative six plus b. Eight equals six plus b. Subtracting six on both sides, and we have b equals positive two. Again, matching what we found graphically. So whatever our approach is, the equation of the line passing through the given two points is y equals negative x plus two. I hope you found this helpful.